Welcome back to Terraria. It's the middle of the night. We're going to try to make a bed today. We're going to try to get a lot done today. Uh, we got our noob stuff done, so we got cactus armor. We went to the desert. We got this cactus sword. Um, we got a, a decent number of arrows. I'm still kind of learning the controls and just getting a hang of everything. I am really not too good at Terraria. I've waited about 10 years to play this. But it's been a long time coming. Um, anyway, we, we built a... Uh, uh, an uh, upstairs base, a base in the sky, so uh, according to your ideas. Uh, just because, god damn it, really just have garbage aim. Um, basically, a place uh, in the sky is going to save me from everything except for eyeballs and stuff that flies. Uh, we started on a elevator, uh, but this is actually quite good, and I did not realize quite how overpowered this thing is, because you just never really have to deal with most of the stuff at night, um, which is very nice. I'm going to go switch over to the cactus sword, and I'm going to display my great fortitude by just running into an enemy, because I do damage to them, uh, just by walking into them, which is fantastic. Uh, what else did we get? We got, uh, climbing claws, um, I'm still hovering over things, warding shackle and the spiked radar, uh, so that gives us more damage and more defense. Um, going pretty well, actually, surprisingly well that I have not yet perished, um, Probably today we're going to be delving down some dungeons. Feel free to backseat at any time during the stream because I'm just like... I, uh, yeah, I will probably need the help. Um, hey, love the roads from YouTube. First time taking out the streams. Hey, welcome in. Thank you. The, the base is, it is. It looks kind of good. That's right. It doesn't look completely good. It looks kind of good. I'm glad that you said that because it's, it really doesn't look very good at all. Yeah, thank you for being nice, though. Level two? Oh wait, are we in? Oh Jesus Christ! God, Twitch always sneaks up on me with these like, it's like the, it's like there's some maniac cheerleader at the side, trying to hype everything up. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, holy cow! Hey, Kagat, thank you for the thousand bits, my friend. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of bits. Now, like I said about um, and this is just kind of a side note on the stream and everything like that. I said at the beginning I'm kind of trying to get better like emotes and everything. I think I've got, I think I've got an artist I really want to work with. Um, I really like some of their other stuff, but I'm still kind of waiting to hear back from them. I really hope that they um, that they that they might have some time or an opportunity because I think it would, uh, I, I think it would look really cool. Um, but again, you know, everybody's just trying to make a living. Here on planet Earth. That's why we have people trying to sell you something. Anyway, um, but yeah, it would be nice to improve the stream. Thank you for the thank you for the generous donation though. Frostburn arrows are great early, super cheap also. Okay, so how do we get those? I mean, I don't really know how to get a lot of the stuff. I know that you're supposed to get a fishing rod. Fishing is supposed to be pretty great for loot. And we do have the desert nearby, so perhaps today as we go dungeoneering, we'll also go to the desert. And we'll try to, uh, make a fishing rod or something. We got some cobwebs. Uh, what else are we gonna need to do that? We went down this cave, but I was wary of going much further down. Avoid the jungle like the plague until I have at least a few, uh, beat a boss a few times. I mean, I'm gonna struggle. I should struggle. I'm supposed to struggle in this. Hey, welcome in, Herb Hermit. Snow torches and normal arrows. We've got a good number of, a goodly show of arrows. Um, okay, the other thing I'm starting to remember is the context controls. So stuff like shift, you know, gives you, um, takes out whatever tool is relevant for the task. Like, I'm not actually managing my inventory right now. I'm just holding down shift and it takes out whatever tool is good for that. That was probably the most useful tip I got from the last one because I spent an ungodly amount of time in Terraria just navigating my inventory. Which, that was a godsend. Um, that and, you know, I know about, like, the... I don't know where they show the tick on and off, but yeah, like, the auto-build feature. Oh, Jesus Christ, all these vultures. I ran out of grenades. Hey, Troopin, how are you, my friend? I think I've got, like, 20 emote slots. That's what I'm saying on Twitch. It's like I've got all these emote slots that they give me, and I'm using, like, four of them, so... You know, there's a lot more that could be done here. So, oh, God, that's awful to see. Um, now, question about the desert and fishing. Can you just go in any water? Like, is it just any water that you place down, or does it really need to be in, like, a sea? If I plan on going fishing, I should find the angler. Is this the angler? What is this? Oh, I need deep water. 
10 years of Terraria and I never knew of this shift feature? There is stuff like that. I, I feel your pain. Okay, that thing was... That thing was worse than a car dealership. Jesus Christ. All right, I'm going to try to just block that out of my memory. Is there any... Re like, it seems very tempting to just jump down a sand pit. Oh, that's an ant lion. God damn it. Let's keep on heading through the... Because this desert was, like, kind of a... Uh, kind of a bad deal, you know? Um, this is probably not considered deep water, but I still think that we're considered as being in the desert here, right? Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to platform our way up. Oh god, why did I do that? How did I do that? Alright, as I recall, as I recall, there was more, uh, now it's coming back to me, there was more of this garbage over here. So we had more forest, unfortunately. I mean, there are caves. Let's go down the cave because it's, there's a good chance that we'll find someone trying to sell us something down here. Um, there we are. Okay, good. Uh, 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 the other thing we have is if we hold down shift, it gives us, like, torches. This is quite nice, and this is the advantage of me streaming this and not, you know, playing it out alone for many years. And that is something I never really realized as I first started streaming stuff, that you just... I'm, I am grateful for your tips. The cool thing is that you can just create a small lake in any biome you want. Oh, so just, like, taking water out from somewhere? Now, I don't really even know how to transport water, to be honest with you. Do we need, like, some sort of bowl machine? Okay, gr good. We've found more rope. Excellent, excellent. Now, this is great because I don't have to keep going to navigate. I'm actually enjoying playing the game, which it, it did take me a while to enjoy playing Terraria, only because I found it was a lot of menu management. That was fantastic. What the hell is this? Did I, like, open up a portal to Midas? No. Break the pot. Yeah, we've got the pot. The pot is... The pot is treasure-filled. Hmm. There we are. Okay, good. We're on this, uh, let's keep placing torches, just because I always get snuck up on over here. And if we can find it while we're down here, we'll want some iron if I don't see it. I'm probably just being an ignoramus, though, and not seeing it. I've also put my weapons into my first two slots. 75 pixels of water is fishable, 300 is optimal. Wow, so there's actually, like, a set number of pixels. Okay, this was weird, but I, I'll allow it. Um, God, the only thing about hardcore is that if I were playing in on like any other type of game, I would probably be going down much like more aggressively. I've seen some players just like dive right in, like woo, and I'm just like, nah, that, I wouldn't do that in such a dank cave. All right, okay, so we've got a decent cavern down here, but I'm not really okay. We've got cobwebs, you know. I, I'll, I, I'll. Break an appointment for that. I, I like it that you can just build a stairway anywhere you like. That's fantastic. Isn't that nice? Yeah, you like that. Yeah, don't... Yeah. Oh, God. Wait, here it comes. Oh, there it is. It's underneath. Oh, Jesus. I hate these things. They really do bother me. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of giant war... It's like something out of Resident Evil, you know, just those random enemies that have no explanation whatsoever. Like, why is a... Like, why is there a Pegasus fighting with all of these zombies, you know? That was the kind of stuff that Capcom would send at you in Resident Evil. Gotta move me another platform. I, I just don't want to use my rope, is the truth. Oh, you can duplicate water like in Minecraft? Really? Wait a minute, that's a thing in Terraria? God, I feel like a fool. I didn't even know that this was a thing. I mean, it could be a trap. Yeah, there are traps underground. Traps are very well hidden underground. I have That has happened to me before, so it, it could happen again. But the fact that I have deja vu about these bad experiences, I think gives me like a layer of protection from them. I gotta say, and this looks like an awful lot of wood. Every water has different fish and potentially different crates. Hmm... Oh, but oh, so then we should probably should probably make a bucket. I mean, still we need iron for all of this. We're gonna keep working on the elevator, but we'll wait till the night. We'll wait till the night to do that. Okay, let's see if we could fight these slimes. 
God, this the slimes always bring me back to Dragon Quest. I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. That's not true. I played about two of the games. But isn't that enough? Isn't that enough to be a big fan? I like it. You love Dragon Quest, too. It's great. A lot of fun. Um, okay, let's get more platforms. Oh, what is that? Jester's arrow. Now that Cactus platform. I feel like that that would just... You would just die upon landing on that, right? D do you take damage from it? Or maybe it's really good and overpowered. Like, this cactus armor is, uh... Is, is amazing. I like it. Okay, let's head down. Now, I'm, I'm going for all the caves just because apparently I have very good luck. People seem to tell me that I find great items in caves. Um, okay, alright, this is... A place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just see if we can find, like, a chest or something. Okay, that's more, uh, what is that? That's some kind of ore. Can't even remember what they call that. Dra Dragon Quest- oh, it had great music, the, uh, what was it said? The main Dragon Quest theme is- I could listen to that on repeat for several hours. Hmm. Different ways to dupe liquids. Okay, so there are some liquid exploits I could do. Hmm. Let me do this. Did not expect you to sound different from the videos. So I sound different every day. I don't know, it just depends on the mood I'm in. Sound happy, sound sad. Yeah. But you know, like if you always talked in one in one way, that would be pretty uh I, I don't really even know where it comes from now. I, I it just I'm not really even think about it consciously. I think it's just kind of like a mixture of things that I like. Whatever I'm feeling for that day. God damn it, tin. God damn it, Tin. Uh, we get, still got 70 torches. We, like, overcrafted those things. I ever do a stream or make a video of Dragon Quest? It was way too far out of my wheelhouse. Maybe a stream. Definitely not a video. At least on the main channel. The one thing I've been liking about the VOD channel is that, um... It kind of lets me, like, experiment with more ideas than I might be willing to on the main channel. So that's nice. Might see more of that. Oh, this is tree! You love trees. Hang on a second. God damn it. There we are. I can't remember what this tree does, but it does something great. I can't remember what it is. Let me take it down and find out. Uh, don't, I'm not, I'm not even going to read it. Don't even tell me what the tree does. It's been a long time since I've seen a tree. This amazing. Oh God, I'm standing on something wonderful too. This is bad. All right. Uh, what is this? Okay, great, we found the iron. Oh, loving it. Doesn't look the way that I remembered it or pictured it, but all right. Uh, now what is- what the hell is this? What the hell is this? I have a car salesman voice- No, that's the worst thing you could have said! Oh, god damn it. You don't know how bad that makes me feel. I need half a tile of water to fill a bucket that I can pour out. There is such thing as half a tile? Wow. Damn trooping, I didn't know that you were a, uh, a terrarian. Terrarian? Terrain? I don't even know what you call people who... Alright, I got a question though, like, do the people who play Terraria, do they hate Minecraft? Because they're, like, so close, you know? There's, they are pretty close, you gotta admit. But I bet that there's a few out there who... Cause some people really love Terraria. Like, romantically love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can be one of those people. God, this context menu is incredible. Okay, we, I think we found most of the iron that I wanted. I think the answer is always, yeah, some people are... <laughs> yeah. Now, the thing is that, uh, like, you know, everybody has their preferences. I'm trying to think of something that I have like that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, I guess, I guess we have stuff that we're all picky about. Now, this is very nice. I'm liking these, um... I feel like this is... I, I, my commentary on Terraria is worthless because, like, it's all been said. It's all been said. I sometimes feel that way. Sometimes I feel like I'm all alone in this world. Um, but, hmm. I'd like to try out that rope coil thing. Yeah, that, that was a lot more fun. You, you, you loved that when I was using the rope coils. 
Damn it. Uh, where did my rope coils go? Oh, there they are. Right. Oh, I love that. Ah, damn it. Why we can't have nice things? Because then I gotta build another rope segment over there. But that's kind of nice that I can just kind of transfer. Oh, that's a neat animation. Everything I find about this game that's new, I like about it. Or every new thing to me that I spot, I like. Of course, it's not new to anyone but me, but... You know, I haven't played it in ten years. So that's the story. Can I replant the diamond tree? Oh, I wish I had thought of that. God, do you think I could make that into some money to, uh... Uh... Have somebody sell me something? Jesus. Yeah, I mean, we're supposed to be getting the merchant guy coming soon as well, right? Got these slimes coming after me. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, that was probably the worst outcome of that that could have possibly happened randomly. I must say that the enemy AI in Terraria is pretty great that they just always jump in your general direction. Which is quite funny. There we are. Aha! I am Spider-Man. Uh, we get some... Oh, god damn it! Ooh, that was a bad... F That's gonna be how I'm gonna die this way. I don't feel like going up there. I feel like doing this. There we go. Okay, great. I got all the cobwebs. Enjoy the game, but this is the best purchase of my life and have thousands of hours in it. Jesus. I, I know that life is going to be gone from me when you say that because all the other games that have played like this i have taken that much life from them i mean from me oh god wait a minute yeah okay i made it onto the rope that was a little iffy for a second because you can't really float up in terraria and water the normal way okay uh well we get these ropes out of our lives Hey, merch win. Uh, I, I, still, I don't have anything anyone would want to uh, get, you know? Maybe I get you a glass of grape juice or something like that. Um, in the words of Dave Chappelle. Yeah, maybe I'll sell grape juice or something like that. <laughs> this is a really fascinating bit of water, isn't it? This is beautiful. I'd like to have some kind of water garden like this at home. Let's make a bucket. Let's make a bucket. Go home and buy me a bucket. Oh, that was so nice. Like that, when I just, like, rip through a people. Craft gems with an eighth with an acorn. I don't know, what would you want? I, the thing is, I've thought about it, but I'm like... I think the only... Maybe I'll get, like, a shirt that says hello on it. I feel like that would be... <laughs> stupid enough to... Sell. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I, I've actually have hesitated for a while, because I just don't think I have anything very good. It'll be someday, someday. Grape juice, yeah, we could have like, um, Ambigia juice, you know? Smashing! Ambigia juice. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hey, drunk, thanks for the raid, my friend. Goddamn. We're gonna get in some, uh, we're gonna get in some multi-zomboid next week. A mystery toy? It could be any type of amphibian. Ah, oh, God bless. God bless. That would be cr- That would be- It would be nice. It would be nice to have- Oh, God damn it! Aren't toys for- Children, though? Don't children play with toys? Drunk, how was your stream, my friend? Welcome in. Welcome in, drunk folks. I mean, that sounds a little Tuesday. offensive. But, uh, yeah. No, hell yeah. Fortunately, I'll have my, uh, whole other debacle done by then. Hey, thanks for the sub, too, my friend, and, uh, happy belated birthday. I, I look forward to singing you a happy belated birthday again soon. Hey, and, uh, can, can miss, can miss you a blue? Can miss Oh, god damn it! Marathon medalist. How did I get that? Thank you, Missy Blue. Thank you for the two months, my friend. How did the uh, how did the zomboiding go? Drunk's new video is like mwah, like it's like it made me want to get some of that good old Spanish flamenco guitar playing again. Hey, Cinnamon Knight. God damn it! All right, hang on a second. It's not, why did I we I have to get raided at night? God damn you, drunk. <laughs> Oh, no, bless. Bless. If I plant the diamond acorn, I get to the ground under the tree on the stone, I can grow. Oh, so I can grow more of them. Well, why don't we do that in, like, some 
offshoot of our elevator because our elevator is directly beneath us and if we had more diamond trees that would be very advantageous to us look the old creepy man has entered my house too great okay let's speak to the old creepy man hello old creepy man how are you oh god damn it why did i do that all right i hope a scrawny kid like you isn't uh, oh that's a little creepy way to begin um happiness shop you are useless to me what does he do I, um, let's go downstairs. I got the underground tree on stone. I could grow more of them. Do I need to go into the stone background area? It was a labor of love. Oh, no death. Say, hey, that's always good. Hey, Gonkos. Thank you for the bits, my friend. Mm. All right. So this house, um, well, the only downside to this house really is that I could die. Bug catching net supposedly could be very good, right? Iron anvil would be nice as well. But do we, we don't have the silver for it. And I could probably just make one. Hmm. We've got all our health back. I don't really need wooden arrows, lesser mana potion. Sickle glow stick. Glow sticks can be fun. Mining helmet might be great, actually. Provides light when worn. But we'd have to take off our cactus armor. Hmm. I'm thinking the bug net, but I, I don't even think I'm going to have enough, uh, enough stuff here. Can we sell things to him? Try selling him my diamonds. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's crazy good. Wow. I mean, do I need diamonds for anything? Do I need diamonds for anything, or can I just sell him my diamonds? This is going to be like Count of Monte Cristo here. Dante. Or what? Are, what is the guy's name? Dante's? Hey, sir. Coffee mugs. Welcome in. Buy glow sticks only during the night. Hey, spicier nips. Thank you very much for the six months. Wow, six months flies by. Grappling hook to shoot where I aim. Super useful. Oh, wait a second. Mm. Piggy bank to store the money would be nice. Can be used to store your items. Stores. Would it be important if we're in hardcore? I do want the grappling hook. Does he have a grappling hook? I'm not seeing it. I see rope. I don't see the grappling hook. Alas. Piggy bank is important. I can use the other NPC... To see what... It, oh, I'm just going to get it so that I can learn. So that I can learn. All right, I'm going to buy the piggy bank and I'm going to sell... A, it's like Gift of the Magi. Um, silver coin, copper coin, gold coin. All right, we've got a lot of money now to spend. I may as well get the bug net too because... Uh, I will use this to take vengeance upon all of my enemies. Um, yeah, you know, I could get the anvil as well. Let's just get the anvil because I don't really have that much of the other stuff. Three gold and... You know, it's interesting, it's fun, I'm just gonna grab the uh, mining helmet. I might not use it as much, but hey, uh, it's whatever. Oh, is the piggy bank only useful for if I die? Yeah, some of this won't be as useful for hardcore, I suppose, but let's just uh, have a look in our uh, look-see in our chests. Cobwebs. I'm just gonna leave everything in my inventory right now. Let's go downstairs and uh, then back upstairs so the guy can change my mind. And let's put down that anvil. Goddamn anvil. What the hell? Ah, oh, Jesus. No, I don't be floating in there in midair. Hold up a second. Yeah, this is why placing items is like a nightmare. Alright, okay, so we got this thing. Got some Oh, that's the Eye of Cthulhu in the background. Wait, does that mean that that thing is coming to fight me next? I thought I was safe. I am scared of the bosses, still. Piggy Bank is linked to all other piggy banks in the world, so it's made multiple useful for multiple bases. Oh, that is very good to know. Well, in the case if we had, like, an underground base or something like that, that would be quite nice. Hmm. All right, well, we have the iron ore now, so we should be able to use that and smelt it in the furnace. I would like to get, like, a... Mm, iron brick I don't really want to grab it. Oh, Jesus Christ, bowl. I think what we need is a bucket, right? We need a bucket and like, um... Oh, God damn it. Hmm, bestiary. Is there a better way that people craft or is it... Do people just scroll up and down on this menu? Because again, I, I do welcome back seating here. Fogelin, welcome in, my friend. Hmm. A random event just like a skull. Um, oh, click the... 
The hammer. Oh, the hammer icon. Thank you. Oh, this thing. Yes, I forgot about this. Oh, that is much better. That is much better. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, let's see. Armor statue can be placed. I suppose that I can put my armor on the armor statue. That would be a little bit better. Let's make some iron bars, because I just sense that's probably important, right? Let's make, like, five iron bars, turn all of that into that, and then we'll go over to the anvil, and we'll make a nail gun. Uh, okay, empty bucket. I would like this because I want to transport water around. I also think chains are important too, right? But we need more for the, um, what well, we need, like, barracudas for the, uh, whatchamacallit, right? Hey, Schrodinger's cat, thank you very much. You too. Armor statue doesn't let you put armor in it, but it's, you need a mannequin. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know. Okay. I was smackledorfed. Almost. Weather vane. I'm just looking at all the other fascinating things that I could make. Okay, well, let's make a bucket, because I think I want that in my life. Um, hmm, what else? Hmm. I think that... I won't really be able to sensibly make use of the uh, of the piggy bank, but let's go ahead and just see about making a grappling hook. So a grappling hook, what do we need? Like chains? I think we need chains, right? Um, chain. Let's just make some chains. Two chains. <laughs> two, two chains. Oh God, I am really good at this commentary. Um, hang on a second. So we got the campfire, we throw that in there, we take the tin and put it in there. I don't need these contact lenses. What even is this? Ant lion mandible. Oh yeah, we had that thing from before. We don't need this anymore because we have the cactus sword. The agile cactus sword. The majestic agile cactus sword. Cactus platform, I haven't really been using those. Scroll. Put this sword away. Hmm. Talk to the guide with the di Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. I sold my diamonds to this creepy old man, though. She We're gonna need to grow another diamond tree because I sold my diamonds. But I used it to buy, to buy some very useful things, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good to place multiple crafting stations together so I will get access to all of them at the same time. Also, I can craft with open chests to use items from it. Thank you, Trooper. I need, like, yeah, I need to get one room for- Oh my god, Jesus! Hang on a second. Jump scare. Please don't send me down to hell. I regret a little bit making some of that elevator. Um, not that much, but somewhat. All right. That's enough. I thought that they wouldn't come at me from after, from off screen, but now I think we are in this biome. So let's go back over here. And then we go here. Let's just plant the. Oh, God damn it! There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Once once we get all of this stuff off, then we can plant another diamond tree down here. I think that would be acceptable. But doesn't it also need to be dark or something like that? Yeah, we'll just put it down. See what it does. All right, diamond gem corn. Yes. Look. It loves growing there. We've got two of them, too. Uh, is that... Yeah, we've just got one left. Oh, I can ask the guide for item recipes. Oh, that's very... Wait, really? Oh, that's very nice. Oh, I will have to do that. 15 gems will make a gem hook. Oh, God, there's a lot we're gonna have to do. So I played with the Terraria the other day and I opened it, tabbed out for the stupid ass to come. <laughs> oh, I had ended. Yeah, I'm just still kind of trying to, like, learn it slowly. Terraria's got a lot to it, so I'm... Kind of being patient with it. I don't want to get so sucked in, because I know it's going to, like, eat up my entire life if I do. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do a science experiment. I'm going to plant one in the dark and one in the light. Oh, no. I mean, the thing is that the reason why I play it hardcore is that it's just like... Like I said in the last one, it, it kind of builds tension for me to play the game in the hardcore. Because if I don't play the game in hardcore, then it's just... The experience wasn't worth it because there was nothing at stake. You know? Okay, I'm curious about a few things. I want to see how this grows in the slightly darker light, and I want to see how it grows uh, without much space over it. So it's slightly darker over here. Yeah, it's got some light over there. Let's just see what this does. You grow in the dark there, tree. 
Live your life. That has to be my favorite thing, throwing ropes. There's so much garbage in this game. I mean that in a good way. There's like, um, what is it? Like, are there skateboards and things like that? There's just so much. Hook is a random drop from some enemies. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, what we need is a hook. Chain and hook. Oh, it needs more room above to grow. Oh, so should we go back down there and mine out more of it? Yeah, I could do that. Let's see if it gets see if it gets start. Uh, actually, it probably won't do anything. Yeah, let's give it a little bit more room above. Nice though. You know, we're growing two diamond trees. We're gonna get a lot. Uh, I mean, that's like the basically the purpose of this game, right? Is get diamond armor. <laughs> oh god, it's coming! I didn't think that we were that far down yet, but yeah. Okay, I think that the next task now is to go back up onto the ground, and we're gonna go back and rebuild our house. How much more space do I need to grow trees? Can we let- can we just see if those ones- we'll give them a minute to see if they grow? I think I'm just going to put ropes all over this house. Actually, I will need to separate these by platforms. There's so much, like, mental calculation. Or a lot of clicking. Alright, well, whatever, whatever, so be it. Now, I think that the Eye of Cthulhu is coming to kill me because I just saw it kind of like gallivanting off in the distance. Yeah, I'm probably boned. But at the same time, you know, we could get the sexy nurse today and tomorrow and whatever other people. Apparently the NPCs all just kind of like teleport in here. We'll kind of block off these rooms, but I believe in this type of house. Hmm. The guide's tiny. No, the guy, yeah, he's, you know, he's like the greeting guy in that room. He, uh, he greets the other NPCs as they teleport. I guess that doesn't really make sense, teleporting in. Oh, damn it. Okay, there we are. God, that shift is just so nice. There was so many clicks that I avoided. Because it is... I'll say this, like, it does hurt my fingers to play. I'm gonna sound like an old man. God damn it. It hurts my fingers to play Terraria, yeah. It's just this sequence of me complaining about the game. But you gotta, like, it's too bad that there's no way to zoom in. It, it seems like a fairly basic thing. Though I imagine that a lot of this stuff is added by mods. And it seems like one of those games that's just so big that, like, I'm an ignoramus. Or everything that I say will be used against me. Because there is some mod that does it right. Oh, I'll get a message before the eye comes. Ah, thank you. 11 to 16 blocks of headroom. Oh, God, with a stat like that. Hey, thank you, Bahamut. Appreciate that. Rope instead of the platforms, but will that not separate the... I sound like such a snob there. Um, won't that not separate the rooms out if I use rope instead? Don't I need to have them, like, sectioned off and separated? Or maybe there's another way to do it. God, this has to be my favorite thing, though, the auto-build. I like that a lot. We'll make one of these into the crafting room so I could just go to one place, like Troopin said before. Oh, wait, I can zoom in? I can? How do I zoom in? This is a thing in the game? Wait, how do I zoom in? In the options menu? Hang on a second, whoa. Oh, but I mean like if you could do- oh, plus and minus. Okay, I could do it with the mini-map there. But how do I zoom in on the game? Wait a second. Video, zoom, parallax resolution, go full screen, lighting from fantasy double- this is a thing? Zoom, zoom. Framing skip double, uh, waves quality high, storm effects interface. Any map border, did I just pass it? Oh, in general, thank you. My god, I'll be damned, there is... Wowzers! I could do as much as this? I'm not saying that you should do this, I'm saying that you can and that it makes it feel like a different experience altogether. I'm gonna zoom out now, because that seems like too far in. But I... I wouldn't mind a little bit more, uh... Eh, you know, I liked it the way it was, but I, I want to be able to do that for, like... Sometimes I like to zoom in for a thumbnail or something like that. You know, taking a selfie or something. The, th the art of thumbnail creation is, is worth studying. It is quite fun, actually. Thank you for that. 
zoom in on the old man. Why? What do you, what do you have? Uh, you trying to embarrass the old man? <laughs> no, I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, God. But really, though, yeah, just to give the old man a hard time. God damn. You know, I think I'm going to go for more of like a squarish house after this, because this just seems like... This just seems like a meme. I remember I did this the first time I made a Terraria video. I just built like a sky, uh, stairway to heaven. Okay, you know, the house ends here. No more, no more up. From now on, I declare that we go down. Great, okay, it's day again. I really am not a big fan of the night music. Let's get rid of that. Nobody really, nobody asked for that night music. Thank you. Let's delete this. We'll close off the top of our house so that we don't get hit by any eyeballs or anything like that. Um, and then eventually we're going to want to build, like, what? A boss arena? Isn't that what the good players do? <laughs> nah, we're not good. The old man who waves at cars. Because zoom using the numpad. The zooming on the numpad, it does zoom me in and out on the minimap. Maybe there's another button I can press to zoom in in the game. It would be nice. Like, if I hold down control or shift or something... Nah, unfortunately that doesn't do it. Uh, there's, there's probably some way though. Usually there is with games like this. Let's, let's go back up the stairs, just uh, place some light in the rooms. And then what do we need? I guess, uh, well, we'll just put tables and chairs. We'll put our, we'll make these our main NPC rooms. We'll put this here, um, this over here. Great. Oh, they can all be lonely. Why do they need their own space? Why don't they ever socialize with each other? It's just a bunch of people who come into your house, don't say anything. It's kind of like Zelda, you know? Zelda was kind of a weird game. Like, the premise of it... Wasn't it bo based on, uh, what's his name? Miyamoto's, like, Adventures in the Woods? I actually thought that was a nice premise. Plus and minus... Oh, but not on the numpad. Oh, wow. That does work. Hey, thank you, Sir Coffee Mugs. Appreciate that. Okay, so plus and minus on the regular keyboard area. Do this, but then on the numpad, they do this. This is very useful. See, whenever I learn a new game, I just like to get a hang of the controls. And I feel like that if I can't get a hang of it like that, um, then it is, is quite sad. Love doing a lava moat base. That sounds badass. Okay, why am I not using... See, I am getting a little bit faster now. But the thing is that now I could actually keep up with the... with the rest of the boys as we play Terraria. I remember when playing Terraria used to be a private thing, you know? You closed your door and you didn't let anyone in your room. You locked the door. But now it's become this kind of, like, showboating. I don't, I don't know what I think of this new Terraria. Yeah, it's... Uh, actually, there's some items I won't even need to have in my um, inventory. Like, I don't need to have sh torches because they're context-based. That's nice. That is really nice. I have had an inadequate Terraria experience. You've had a great... Ex ter be just be grateful for whatever Terraria you've experienced, you know? Some people are hungry and they don't have Terraria. Um, my god, you are just asking to die! Look at this guy! What the hell is wrong with you, man? It's actually kind of cool to see him, though. I feel like I'm in the Justice League with this guy, like, walking around here. Alright, whatever. You know, you do you. Um, I'm gonna close in this place and make it sad. Though I do kind of like this little outdoor room. It's neat. Oh, man, don't do it! <laughs> don't do it, old man. Think of all that you've got left to live for. Uh, you don't have as much as me, but uh, it's, you still have a lot. Um... <laughs> Uh, God, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Alright, I'm just gonna leave you in there. That was a very sad ending to that um, vignette we just had. Not really vignette. Yeah, we'll call it a vignette. I learned one thing about commentary. It's that whenever you don't have a word for something, you just use another word that just tastes good for that word. It gets the meaning across, you know, like... Like, talking about bringing your squid word out at parties. You know, like, you should always, of course, of course, uh, you should never take out your Squidward at a party. But, um, I mean, like, on certain occasions, um, 
in the right context, it might be okay to take out your Squidward at a party or a, at some other kind of social gathering. Just make sure that you ask if it's okay first. Ask your host if they accept um, Squidward unboxings at the party. Over a hundred hours in this game and I never knew this. I feel uh, like I've been missing it. See, the thing is that I learned so much from commentary that like I've learned all this stuff because some players who are like power users will give me tips on the game from making all the videos I do and everything like that. And I'll learn all this stuff that would have taken me like months to find out in a matter of days. So I'm kind of spoiled for this. So I don't know. That's what I see as the advantage of watching a watching a stream for Terraria. What, that's what I see it is. I'm gonna teach you all the controls. Left, right, up, down. There's so many different things you have to learn. You're gonna love this game. I did not make it. I mean, it sounded like I made it. No, I did not make it. But goddamn, I can't believe that they charge only $10 for Terraria. It's such a banger. Bananas. I mean, and it goes on sale, too. It's crazy. How are they... How are they even buying, uh, how are they even buying uh, Squidward still? Alright, I'll cool it with the Squidward now. It's kind of, it's getting gross. Alright, uh, let's see, where are we? Where are we? Do I accept Squidward as my lord and savior? If not a party, it's not a party if you don't have your Squidward out. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, yeah. At the same time, though, like, if you take out your Squidward without asking at a... I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I used to take out my Squidward at every party. I used to show it to my friends, um, and then, and then I would, you know, like, usually, usually it was at your own house, but not, not at other people's, you know. You just, you know, as you get older, that's, it's not really acceptable behavior anymore. Um, you can't go to the bank like that, take out your Squidward. <laughs> what, 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 what even is this? Guys, I was talking about a Squidward stuffed animal. Jesus. Do they make Squidward? Why would you have a Squidward stuffed animal? There's such more loving... God damn it. Loving cartoon characters than Squidward. Squidward is always upset. I was thinking of running a creature like Squidward in uh, Spore. You know, like he would play music, but then the other animals would just get angry at him because his music was bad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it takes out bold and fresh. Bold and fresh. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> Every conversation just drifts towards Squidward. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> this is the reason why I stream. It's just because... It's <laughs> I, every, anytime I go on a tangent like this, there's just always... Like, uh... <laughs> it's always just the best response from you. God. Ah, Jesus. I mean, the thing is that if Squidward were in Spore, he would be like, uh, you know, it would be like a very angry musical creature. Like, he would try to socialize, and then he would have trouble with that, and then, you know, he would, like, kill everyone. That would be... <laughs> so it's gonna be like weaponized Squidward. <laughs> Um, I suppose that I'd use my hammer to take this stuff down. I'm starting to see exactly which things you need in your inventory. Okay, I'm getting better with this. Um. Uh, whoops. Okay, so I need to use this thing. So let's get all the crafting in one spot, like Truffin said. Many thanks, Truffin. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Take the excess wall. Yeah, the excess wall is bothering me, too. Can I hammer from the outside? Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to give you that pet peeve thing that would bother me as well. Oh, for God's- oh wait, I have on the auto build. That's the one disadvantage of auto build when you don't know that you have it on. Oh, Jesus! Hey, Moopy Boop! Hey, my friend Moopy Boopy! Hey, thank you very much for coming out. Kind patron. Hello, amphibious one. Ambiguous you are. Ambiguous amphibian. Somebody called me Biggie in a comment the other day. I was like, a Gonna need to take back up my rap career. You know that didn't last very long, though. During Seven Days to Die. Um, lasted all of ten minutes, really. Um, it was good while it lasted, though. It was good while it lasted. Mm. 
Okay, let's grab this thing. Not trying to be rude, but the OCD was killing me. Oh, no, no, I, I don't get offended anymore. Please, feel free. If anything's bothering you, if there's any pet peeves about my construction, let me know. I think we're pretty much... I mean, we're almost there on the house. It's bothering me that this one table, the chair doesn't have a table. I'm going to go back and fix that. Somebody was just like, oh, God, it was killing me. Thank you. Let's add in a table. I think that's enough. I God knows how many NPCs we need. I'm going to have that be our crafting room up at the top. I don't know why I put it up there. I just like to go into the house and have an adventure in there. But now, what other kinds of things do we need for more, um... For more NPCs to come? Anyone else bothered by the fact that all the torches aren't at the same height on all levels? Um, that one I'm willing to live with. But yeah, I could see how that would... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that too. Just anything else, just call them out. Anything that's giving you pet peeves. And I'll try to fix it. I understand that. I understand your pain. And I don't want you to feel bad during the rest of the stream. Whenever you look at it. Um, these are two down from the top. Oh god, we're gonna have to go one down from the top so that they always fit over doors. Yeah. Alright, it's okay. I understand now. I understand. And that actually is a best height for these because, uh... You see what I'm saying? That way you can have rooms with doors that have torches at the same height. But at the same time, like, sometimes there is beauty to be found in asymmetry as well. Oh, god damn it! Why does this always happen to me? Right, it's better. That's better. Can I do this through the wall? There's some stuff that you could do through the wall, and there's other stuff that you can't do through the wall. Make up your mind, Terraria. Except this torch, I rather like this one because it makes it look like he has some kind of, like, tongue of fire on his head. Like he's one of the, uh, apostles at Pentecost. Um, yeah. I went, I just did a Pentecost joke. It, it wasn't really a joke. It was kind of a joke. It was a half joke. In Terraria. Wasn't that a little upsetting for everyone? Hmm. There we are. Okay, one torch left. Oh! Ah, uh, your OCD is cured. Thank you. Because zoom in on the game, can't see anything. I can zoom in now because I know how. I prefer the haphazard placement or placing half. I don't even know. I'm not having this debate anymore that was slightly bothering me, it's true. But now we can do that. Alright, that's good. Um, what else do we need to do? We wanted to get a hookshot, right? So, how do we get the, uh, recipes from this NPC? We go to him. Close crafting. Okay, this is nice. Hey, help me out. Wait a second. Why does he not? Crafting. So then where is his crafting menu? Because when I click on crafting, I just kind of see my own crafting menu. I can right click a torch to place it to pick it up instead of having to break it. Oh, really? Wait a second. That is... Oh. Jesus Christ. I did not know that. Thank you, Taukin. Put a material in the slot. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to have the item on me? In the box. The box. Which box? Oh, place the material here. I see what you mean. Okay, so then I could do, say, for example, say I want to do the chain. Oh, and then he will tell me what types of things I can make with the chain. This is very useful. Okay, so a lot of chandeliers, chandeliers, chandeliers. I suppose I could just open up this menu to see. Ah, that is very useful. I am empowered. Grappling hook. So a grappling hook requires a chain and a hook. Sometimes it's dropped by skeletons and piranha. So this is the reason why we want to go for a, um, a thing. All right. So in order to get a piranha, we need to go fishing, right? I figured the hook shot would be the best thing because then I could do a lot underground um, before I can, like, fly or anything like that. Um... The door I'm standing on is bigger than the rest. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, now I'm going to have to go back and fix all of the OCD things. God damn it. Let's do... Cobweb. Cobweb. I bet he could tell me something about a cobweb. Uh, you there. Peasant. Tell me, uh, what can I do with this cobweb? I am learning about the game. Now you have empowered me because I now know what to do in this. Uh, but God damn it! How do I make a how do I make a fishing rod? How do I make a fishing rod? I don't know how to do this. I've got spinal. T this looks 
summon damage. But I'll need bones if I want to make that, so I can't make that right now. But so many wonderful things to create, it seems. Let's leave that. But this could also be a really cool necro helmet. What do we need for that? We're gonna need, okay, all bones we need. Put wood into this. Oh, wood has been... Oh, wood! I can make hooks with gems. Oh, god damn it. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the... Do you still have those diamonds from before, man? God, I'm gonna need to ask for a refund. Uh... Oh, uh, he got rid of the diamonds. He totally just sold them for some Bitcoin or something like that. Okay, all right. Uh, sell me something. All right, well, let's just see how we can get the fishing rod. Uh, yeah, wood. All right. Uh, wood fishing pole. Okay, um, well, we're going to need bait. Well, let's learn to fish because I've seen a lot of people fish in this game and they are quite good at it, right? Okay, so we've got, uh, hmm. You need this. Oh, wait, I can just make it? Requires bait. Showing recipes that use wood. Required objects. Workbench. Okay, so we just go over to the workbench. We just bring our wood. Oh, that's very nice and easy and wonderful. Let's go up to the workbench. To be completely honest with you, I do like exploring the confines of my house. So perhaps I will just leave the crafting room in there. Um, okay, let's go to... Fishing rod. Alright, I've got a fishing rod now. Um, now... I will just ask, how do I make bait? Do I need to catch worms or something like that? I'm imagining that's probably what I'll need to do. Assume constructing a fishing rod would involve a fish. I... <laughs> oh, that is quite funny. Hmm, wood fishing pole is not as good as the iron... F oh, god damn it, so then I should have made the iron... F well, we have, like, an infinite amount of wood, so then let's get... But thank you for letting me know now. Did I use up all of my iron, though? Hmm. Iron fishing pole. Iron fishing pole. Uh, I believe I used up all of my iron, unfortunately. I do not remember on what I used it. I think I used it on these chains. Well, I did need it for the chains. And the empty bucket is also quite good. Hmm. Bug net from the merchant. Oh, nice. wood fishing pole. Hmm. Hey, Hona Jonah. Hey, how are you, my friend? My very kind friend. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the four months. Better bait, combine a worm and a star bug net from the merchant. So, can we get a bug net from the merchant? Let's go talk to him quick. Oh, I do have a bug net, actually. So, I can use the bug net. Oh, so there are there, like, different alternate options that you can do? Combine a worm and a star bug net from the... God, there is so much you can do. Press alt to click on items. To start. Well, let's get water. We'll bring it over to the desert. And then we will, um... Oh, God! Where is the nurse? I'm still waiting for that. I don't know why I'm so... Like, is the nurse gonna get here any day? Uh... Okay, what kind of things is he selling? Okay, he's selling, like, accoutrements. Things like that. Alright, you go... Go along, be on your day. Well, in the meantime, we can probably set up a pool of water in the desert, right? I think that would be a good thing. Um... And then we can, uh... Let's just zoom out on here. And zoom out on here. Now we are already all, all the way zoomed out. Okay, well, then we will do that. Oh, God. I wasn't even looking. That scared the hell out of me. It sounds like... It's like... It sounds like a fat man having, like, a horrible life event, like a stroke or a heart attack or something, whenever you get hit in Terraria. It's just... It just sounds really painful. The rope setup makes me uh, it makes me uncomfortable too. You know, I could probably die pretty easily in that though. I say that we fill this thing with water. That seems like a great way to fish though. Let's go grab some water from over here. There's water in this other spot. And then we'll bring that back and we can make some fishing. As long as we have the uh, desert background, that means we'll be all right to, to fish here, right? Great. Or we could try filling the sinkhole with water. Ah, <laughs> oh, that would take a very long time. No, I will not do that, I promise. Need to get a crystal heart for their... Ah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Moistash! <laughs> That's a very funny name. Moistash. <laughs> thank you for the hundred bits. Yes, that is that is definitely one of the best names that I have, that I have seen in a long time. 
Need a pretty big pond to fish. The bigger the pond, the better my chances that I will get a fish. Uh, so maybe we should, um... Actually, we, we want to kind of minimize the trips with this bucket, because for Christ's sake, we have only one bucket. So let's, uh... Hmm. Maybe we could just dig down in this one. That might be better. Uh, God. Stop zigzagging. Okay, uh, let's just dig down into the sand right here. Is this where we can- Oh, uh, no, I haven't even- I've, like, changed my mind three times in a row. I apologize for that. That is quite annoying. I don't trust these things. Okay, so we have tons and tons of water over here. Well, that's not quite so much, but I think we could just kind of filter all of the water into one of these things. I'm trying to think if this will be interesting at all. Hmm. There we go. All right, there was a lot of water over here, or at least I remember it as being a lot of water. It's just unfortunate that it's not closer to that biome. Well, let's see how much we can get with one thing. Is that literally only one block? In which case, I'm going to need to make 60 trips. Oh, how do you make infinite water? Okay, that sounds really extremely overpowered. Yeah, let's do that. One bucket is one block. Okay, so then I'm not going to do it this- Oh, god damn it! Why did the water all- I thought I had the water in one place. Okay, how do I make infinite water then? Is that a, an exploit in the game? You're telling me that this is a thing. Tell me your secrets. Hold up a second, I just gotta deal with this demon eye. There we go. Hmm. Kidnap animals for my- <laughs> You can kidnap animals. <laughs> I've never heard someone say that an animal has been kidnapped. I think people just take animals. <laughs> I just mean more general in real life, but that is quite... That is quite amusing. <laughs> and also probably horrible. Oh god. Alright, alright, we did some good today. Um... Somebody- oh, I guess if you kidnap somebody's pets, yes, that seems like kidnappery. That seems very nefarious. Okay, so then there is animal kidnapping. I thought you meant, like, if people take out animals out of the wild. I'm like, dogs were in the wild, right? Yeah, I know that if I drown in water with the cactus armor, then it will give me an achievement. Oh, God. That makes me want to drown in the water, except just maybe not on this save file, because it's hardcore. That would be quite a sad ending if I drowned. It bothers me that I don't get enough knockback to, like, prevent them from doing it. Okay, but great. The water does flow, like, predictably in Terraria. I respect the water in, the, in Terraria. And it respects me. It respects the shit out of me. God damn it. I, I really need to make another base here in the desert. It might even, in fact, be a good idea to just make something here forever because... But this is like a pretty reliable way to get a hook shot all the time, right? Hey, Booty Bricks, thank you very much. Appreciate the, the 200 bits. Position the blocks in this fashion and hammer one side up top and constantly place water on the hammered bit. I got a hammer to do it? Ooh. Found it from the YouTube channel. I love the rumor all of it. Hey, thank you, Inhook. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to get killed now if I stay here. Right, hold up a second. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, we've kept out the eyeballs for a few seconds. I could just, like, kind of seal myself in here. It's probably gonna get me killed. Um... Hold up a second. God, I really screwed myself. This is like what I do- I just dig myself a tomb in Minecraft. If I really messed up that first day, you know? Like, sometimes you gotta do this. I'm just gonna do it- I'm just gonna do it in the Terraria version. All right, all right, uh... What the hell do I do now? What do I even do? Oh, Jesus. Make one block pool, oh, like a U-shape, and then a larger pool to the right or left of it, then empty my bucket of water on top of the block that separates the two points. Oh, then I can refill the bucket from the what? Okay, so then... Maybe I should just, like, look up an infographic of Terraria. I will do that for, like, two seconds. Infinite water 
Terraria, because this will probably be a fairly essential thing for me to learn. Um, oh, I think I can see this. Mm. I'm just looking up on, like, Google Images. Okay. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. So it's going to be, like, in midair. Mm, I know I am going to suffer quite a lot of this playthrough. I will try to minimize my own suffering, though, because I am a good person. I am not a good person. Um, I'm a, I'm a decent person. I'm not a bad person. Maybe I'm a bad person. I don't think a bad person would consider themselves bad. We all have good and bad about us, you know, like, I like, um, I like tacos, but I also like really hot sauce. That seems pretty bad. You know, stuff like that. Oh God, Jesus Christ. They take away so much health. I'm just gonna keep roping my way up. All right, all right, now we made it out. Um, oh, for God's sake, they're still coming up. Okay, I'm just gonna flee home. This is not going particularly well. You know, eh, it's night. Let's just fight him in the dark. It's gonna just be an awful fight today. And if they do hit me, they they fight, they taste my cactus armor, so that's fine. Oh God, this is like the worst new bending to have. This is like the noobest thing. I don't even have cactus that I could. Use against them. I feel like I should just get a good sword slash, but that was all right. That was all right. We made something happen. All right, all right. Yeah, who's gonna get water today? This guy. Damn it. I feel like a failure. I feel like a water failure. All right. Um. So as I see it, what I gathered online is that it looks like this. Ah, uh, sorry, wrong thing. Basically gotta make something that looks like that. And then you mine out this. And then you place the water in here. So if I do, well, let's just wait for the morning to come. But then I put the water there, right? Oh, it's a bit hard to see because it'll get better, it'll get better. <laughs> Allow me to describe to you what will happen? And I have a campfire. I should have used this. Put down my campfire. There we go. Okay, now I'm recovering health. Okay, I think it's supposed to look like this. And as soon as it, let me just clear out these enemies. Uh, I'm gonna throw down there again. Ah, yeah, the mining helmet would have helped me. Let's just put on the mining helmet. I'll put that on. Oh, I could have on the mining helmet and the cactus helmet. Oh, that's good. How do I turn that on, though? Put it in the social... Oh, so I don't get to do it from the social slot. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'll just leave that on for the looks, but I'll keep on my mining helmets so that I can see. Yeah. yeah, it's unfortunate that you don't get the light from the mining helmet in vanity. Hey, doing pretty well. Thanks, Leonard. Hmm. Okay, so I still won't be able to fight these guys through the wall. I'm just gonna go down there. See if I can get this. I'm gonna just test out with all the infinite water garbage. Let's fight these people first, though. See if I can increase the surface area with which I'm fighting the enemies. Might actually be a good tactic to just run into them right now because my armor does more damage than my sword. Okay, now it's not a great idea. There's a lot of grinding. There's a lot of grinding, but it's paying off. It's paying off. Oh, God. Get rid of that. I got the water. Uh, get out of here with your driving eyeballs. I feel like, isn't that a SpongeBob reference to everything that comes out of my mouth? Oh, God damn it! Why did I trap myself in here with these... Oh, I'm gonna get killed. Hang on a second. Just trying to get over the campfire. Shit, man. Oh god. Is this the end? <coughs> Shit! Shit! 
Oh, that's it.